Hey guys, Chris from Average Escape Reviews here, and today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the backpacks that you can get for electric skateboards. Now, in our opinion, I believe these are the best options that are out there. I know there's a lot of other companies that make bags for e-skate or for electric boards, but the reason I think these ones are ones that you should really consider looking at if you have a board and you're looking for a bag is because unlike a lot of the other companies out there that make accessories for the electric skateboard world, these two manufacturers that make these bags actually make electric skateboards, which means that I'd like to think that they have a better understanding and a better idea of what we would need as riders and what type of a bag we would want to have. Now, for the longest of times, you guys have seen it in a bunch of our videos, I've been using Evolve's backpack for a very long time. I've flown with it, I've traveled with it to a bunch of different places, I ride with it all the time. Now, the Slick Revolution backpack is one that we've only recently just received, but we've been using it a lot to get an idea of how it holds up and how it stacks up against Evolve's. It's really important for me to mention that in terms of the durability of these bags, obviously the Evolve backpack has had a lot more wear and tear from us, so I know what that bag can take. Whereas the Slick Revolution one, because we've not used it for as long and we've not put it on a plane yet, we don't know exactly how durable that it will be. So take what I say in terms of the durability of both of these bags with a pinch of salt as we go through this video. Now, the first thing I'm going to mention is that the design of a bag is something that I definitely consider. If you guys have seen a bunch of videos, I normally ride with a leather fossil bag most of the time that we're out on our boards. But if I've got my laptop with me, if I've got any sort of camera equipment with me, or if I need to take anything with me in addition to my skateboard charger, that's when I like to use one of these bigger bags because I can fit everything that I need, especially camera equipment, etc. Now with the Evolve bag, the way that it looks plays a really big role for myself because I don't particularly like to wear things that I don't like the look of. I really like the design of the actual bag itself. I like the fact that it has these reflective strips, which are, you know, encompassing of Evolve's logo, but it also serves a purpose. But down the side of the bag, it has a very, very loud, very, very big and bold text with the Evolve uh, print on it. And I think that's a bit too loud for me. I do really like the design of Slick Revolution's bag because it doesn't even look like an electric skateboard bag. It has a ton of straps, which are very functional that we can go on to in a little bit more detail in the video. But as a design for bags, I am really satisfied with the way both of these bags look. But I will mention that I do like how low-key Slick Revolution's logo is on their bag. It's literally just printed on the side, just by the, by the front of the bag over there. And the only other place that they have their logo, which is quite big, is on the spine of the bag round the back. But when you've got the bag on, you can't really see it, so it doesn't really bother me. It's definitely a better place than Evolve's one right down the side. Now, when we look at the bags themselves in terms of what storage compartments they have, pockets, accessories, anything like that... Both of the bags are actually very similar. They both have handles on the top and also on the side. I will mention that Evolves are made from a polymer or a plastic, whereas Slick Revolutions are made from some sort of metal. I'm guessing probably aluminium. Now, you would probably think the aluminium would be a better shout because it's probably going to last longer. But something I've noticed with it already is that it scratches and it shows scratches very, very clearly, even though we've not been using it anywhere near as long as we've been using the Evolve. But that's the only real negative point to those different handles. But the aluminium does feel really nice in your hands. I'm just concerned that it's going to show scratches very easily in comparison to the plastic one on the Evolve backpack. When we look around the bag to see what type of pockets and storage and compartments it has, both of them, as I said, have very, very similar setups. They both have pockets on the front of the bags that you can put whatever accessories or things that you need. I will say that the Evolve does have a cooler pack for bottles of drinks or cans of drinks on the side, which is something that the Slick Revolution bag doesn't. And the Evolve backpack on the other side also has a mesh sleeve for putting in drinks or, again, anything else that you might want to put into it. And the Slick Revolution bag doesn't have that either. But what it does have on either side is very small, very narrow Velcro pockets. I'm not really sure what you'd use them for, but they are there if you needed to put something in there. Now, when we look at the bottom of the bag, which is an important thing to discuss, because, as I said, the Evolve bag has been used and abused, and you can see that it's still in pretty good shape. This kind of like rough synthetic leather material that they have on the base held, holds up really, really well in terms of it being dragged across the floor, in terms of falling with it on your back, or just day to day picking it up and putting it down on a variety of different surfaces. Slick Revolution's bag has a similar type of setup with some sort of synthetic leather. It almost feels like a, a, a vinyl or maybe like a nylon uh, material on the bottom over here. It does feel like it's pretty abrasive and it can take a beating, but again, very similar to the handles, the metal handles on this bag, it does reveal scratches much easier than this rough material over here. But in terms of how long it's going to last, that's something that only time will tell. But like I said, it does feel thick, it does feel like it can take a beating, but it shows scratches really easily. Now when we flip the bags around and we look at the back of them, 
the straps on Slick Revolution's backpack are very thick, extremely comfortable, and the back support is very soft and padded and very comfortable as well. When we compare it to the bag that Evolve have, the straps on theirs aren't thin, aren't uncomfortable, but they're nowhere near as thick and wide and as comfortable as the ones featured on Slick Revolution's bag. The back support is also much stiffer and not as padded on Evolve's bag. So in terms of how much comfort you're getting, I'm going to have to say that Slick Revolution's bag is probably going to be the most comfortable one, especially if you're carrying a board that's quite heavy, like the GTR Bamboo, for example. Now, in terms of the additional harnesses that these bags have, both of them have chest harnesses or straps and also waist harnesses as well. Something I've got to mention with the Evolve one is that I had to cut them off because harnessing a backpack by my waist is just not something that I'd ever need to consider doing. Same with the Slick Revolution bag. It also has those. But one thing that I have to give them credit for is Slick Revolutions are removable. So if you don't want those harnesses there, you can just take them off, the ones that go around your waist. Whereas the ones on the Evolve backpack, I literally had to cut them off, which was, it's not ideal if I ever want to like give the bag away or it, it, just cutting a brand new bag so it kind of fits the way you want it to is just not something that you want to do. But I will mention that the harnesses that actually clip on both of these bags are different. So with Slick Revolution's chest and also waist harness, they use a, it's called Fidlock. Essentially, it's a magnetic harness that slips into place and locks together, whereas Evolves just uses your traditional clip. Now, it's not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just feel like the new system that Slick Revolution are encompassing kind of makes the bag feel a bit more modern, and it's also a lot easier to take off, especially if you've got gloves on or if you're just trying to do it very quickly. Once you've gotten used to this type of harness or attachment it's much much quicker to undo and i also feel like there's less chance of it breaking just because of the way that it locks together so that's definitely a plus and the fact that all of these harnesses are adjustable and removable on slick revolution's bag and also on uh, evolves bag the chest harness is also removable and adjustable but remember the waist harness is not on the evolve bag whereas on the slick revolution bag it is now, some other things that Slick Revolution's backpack features that the Evolve bag does not is all of these different clips and harnesses that you can see. They do encompass some of that reflective material that we do see over here. Straight away, the Evolve bag you can see has all of this is reflective stripes or straps um, that are Evolve's logo, essentially. Same with the text, same with the logoing on, on the sides and this strip on the bottom. So as a bag that will stand out in the darkness or in like, you know low light, Evolve's is definitely going to win the upper hand there. And as a quick side note, all of the metal clips that you can see on this bag and also the handles themselves are reflective. But what Slick Revolution's bag does have is all of these different straps that are adjustable that allow you to either harness a jacket on there, you can clip a helmet on there, it's also got some around the sides. This bag just has a lot of functionality. It does lack the external pockets that the bag from Evolve does feature in terms of the drinks cooler on the side and the mesh pocket on the side. But what it lacks in terms of those accessories, pockets or pouches, it makes up for in all of these different straps that it has. Now, when we look inside both of these bags, that's where the biggest difference kicks in. And that's where straight away I have to say that my new favorite bag is Slick Revolution's bag. And that's because it has dividers. Although Evolve's backpack has been amazing to use for the amount of time that I've had it, and I do really like it. When I'm carrying a lot of different things like different camera lenses, cameras, keys, hard drives, cables, all of that stuff just sits in a sack at the bottom of the bag. Excuse the pun. But with the bag from Slick Revolution, it has storage compartments that you can divide all of your equipment into. So it's not only easy accessible or easily accessible, it's very simple to see what's inside the bag at just a quick glance. You don't have to be lifting things up, trying to tackle the bag to get to the bottom of it to see what's in there. Everything has its own section to go in, which means it's really easy to see when something's missing and really easy to see exactly what you have inside the bag. And it makes it nice and convenient to grab things. But most importantly, if you have anything fragile, it makes it nice and easy to be able to separate it from anything inside the bag that could damage it. For example, if you have a phone in your bag and a skate tool, you don't really want those rubbing against each other while you're skating. So the storage dividers that the Slick Revolution bag has are a massive bonus. And of course, if you don't like storage dividers, they are removable. They attach to the bag with Velcro and it's very, very strong Velcro. It doesn't kind of like fall out of place when you throw the bag around. The way you put the dividers inside the bag, they don't move and anything that's inside them will be kept exactly where it should be. But if you wanna take them out, you can and just have like one big sack to throw your stuff into. So it's nice that they have the option of that and I'd love to see Evolve come out with a bag that just allowed for a little bit more organization inside the bag. That is probably the biggest thing that separates these two bags and why this one from Slick Revolution is the one that I would prefer to have moving forward. 
Now, when we look at something that's a really big deal for me, it's going to be the laptop compartment inside these bags. Both of them have one, but the one in the Evolve bag, the only way that I can explain it is that it's suspended from being against the complete base of the bag, which means that when you put your laptop inside it, you've got about a two inch gap before the actual casing that the laptop goes into or the sleeve that the laptop goes into comes into contact with the base of the ground which means that if you've got a very expensive laptop like the one i skate with all the time which is a macbook pro 15 inch i don't have to worry about putting my bag down softly so i don't bump the laptop i can just drop the bag and i know the laptop is completely fine inside there whereas the one from slick revolution although it's a completely separate pouch and it is very well padded the laptop, when you slide it into the sleeve that the bag has, comes into contact with the base of the bag, which for me is a big no-no. It's really easy to fix that. You could just throw a bit of padding inside the bag itself and then that problem is dealt with. But it's definitely worth mentioning because slipping a bit of padding sounds very simple. It's not something I do. I just grab it and go. And every time I'm putting my bag down, I'm bumping the crap out of my very expensive laptop. So it's not really a big deal, but it does show that the guys from Evolve really thought about that when they were designing this bag. I've fallen with my laptop inside my bag and the laptop's been completely fine because I know that it's suspended inside the middle of the bag. Whereas that would be a little bit of a cause for concern with this. You could say, don't skate with a laptop, but I commute to work with my board. So I need to have my laptop with me. That's really the only negative that I've found with this bag so far. But like I said, bit of padding at the bottom and it sort of resolves that issue. And it's why again, this bag is gonna be the preferred one moving forward. Okay, I think that's it. <clears throat> We were just about to wrap up this video without discussing the most important part of this bag video, which is the actual skateboard compartments on these bags. Now with Evolve's, both of these bags, the Slick Revolution and the Evolve backpack have a very similar harnessing system to support your skateboards in there. Whether it's a big board, a small board, they will fit in there perfectly and they fit in there basically the same way. But one thing I'll mention is that the bag from Slick Revolution is encompassing those magnetic clips that we just discussed at the start of the video, whereas the Evolve backpack is using the traditional clipping ones. Now, what I've noticed is just the way that the straps extend and the way that you're able to shorten the length of each of the straps to accommodate different boards from different manufacturers, connecting a board with the Slick Revolution bag is much easier, much more straightforward, and it's a lot, I guess hassle-free to be able to harness a board and strap it up inside there so you can wrap it up and go. The Evolve one does still allow you to do it, but it has Velcro straps that don't always go over or completely attach over the um, the deck of the board. If you have a very wide board, it might be an issue and you might not actually be able to get the Velcro straps to go across. Whereas all of the straps that are inside the Slick Revolution bag are adjustable and allow you to attach essentially whatever board that you need to attach into it. Again, it's important for me to mention the Evolve bag is much older than the Slick Revolution bag, but if you're on the fence and you're trying to figure out which one of these bags to go for and you don't want to have that issue, this, again, is going to be another area that the Slick Revolution bag really, really wins. In addition to this, the zip that allows you to close the flap that the skateboards go into, on the Evolve bag, the actual zip and zipper itself are quite small, and it's one of those things that I feel over time carrying big, heavy boards, it's not going to last as long. The one with Slick Revolution's bag, the zipper and also the straps itself and the attachments are thicker, are beefier and just feel a lot more durable. Now, like I said at the start of the video, this bag is much, much older than this one. But based on what I can see and based on the way it feels, I feel like the straps and also the zipper on this for attaching a skateboard is going to be something that will last longer and is easier to even do because the size of, of the zipper itself being quite small on the Evolve bag, it's not very comfortable and not easy to do it quickly. Whereas on this, it's a big, it feels very durable and it just feels a lot easier to be able to get the board put away and ready to be carried on your back. And another point to mention is because of the straps and the padding, if you're carrying quite a heavy bag with a Slick Revolution bag, it's very comfortable. You don't really feel like you've got a bag with a skateboard attached to it, with motors, with a battery. Whereas with the Evolve bag, you kind of do feel that weight a little bit more. The bag isn't as comfortable as the one from Slick Revolution. Now, in terms of the pricing of both of these bags, depending on if you're in the US, North America, or if you're in England, I'm going to go by English prices because that's where we are. The bag from Evolve sits at around 100 to 110 pounds. Now, when we look at the bag from Slick Revolution, it's 139 pounds, but I think right now it's priced at about 124, and that's directly on Slick Revolution's website. As always, guys, a big thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Hopefully this has helped to shed a little bit of light onto what we consider are the best bags to get in the e-skate world, both made by actual board 
manufacturers. If you want more information on any of these bags, the links will be down below in the video description. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of the videos that we post. Instagram is down below. All of the links to pick up any of the boards that we've shown you or disclosed in this video are down below in the video description. Leave any comments down below of anything you want us to take a look at, if it's an accessory or if it's a board. We're more than happy to see if we can get our hands on it and make that happen. But thank you for watching. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, guys.